Hello folks, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is uh, May 11th, 2021. And I want to talk about uh, software stocks today. We will cover the winners, the losers and most, most active stocks. So with that, I got few few images here. One is Calix. Uh, these guys are into uh, managed services partners and help, helping them out. And then we got one of my favorites, uh, Digital Turbine. I think this this company does really not well. And uh, last last but not least, Cloudflare, Cloudflare, which is one of the you know very good stocks. So we'll cover uh, these and more, and take it from there. So with that, uh, here is the list of winners. Um, you know, um, the way this is sorted is really I got one month performance here. The stocks that you see here have done very nicely for one month. So typically that gives you indication, you know, if the company is doing well in one month, that means there's a chance that they will extend their winning streak as we go forward. So also it tells you these stocks are work, working now because, uh, you know, here and now they're doing well. So with that, let's look at a few companies here. Uh, first is Proofpoint, one of the famous, uh, you know, um, cyber security stocks. And it's got very good uh, sales growth, as you can see here, 16% uh, in one year and 15% quarter over quarter. I like the you know sales also here, $1 billion in sales and nice gross margin. I love this. And a lot of institutions are buying this share of stock, which is always good. Um, and as you can see here, they've done nicely for one month and not too bad for one day, one week and you know, two weeks. This whole sell-off did not impact them much and they were done nicely for three month, six month and one year. So with that, you know, I would uh, you know, buy this stock on any pullback um, and uh, you know, take it from there. So it's one of the good stocks. Then we got a couple more here, um, NCR, Gartner and Information. And as you can see here, uh, many of these companies have done uh, nicely from a um, quarterly sales growth perspective. Um, and they've also done nicely for one year, as you can see here. Um, Gartner, you know, this, this is a good stock, but I would not buy this on a high note because this company sometimes, you know, during the quarter quarterly results, this can tank big time. So I would catch this, you know, after the quarterly earnings because it gives you good opportunity at times where it pulls back really, really hard. Then we got uh, information here. I think they've done nicely for one year, 97%. I think this is also a good one to buy on any pullback. And uh, Nuance, I think it's acquired by Microsoft. Now uh, there's no point in buying this stock. And we got a couple more here. Wipro is also good. It's the Indian software play. They've done nicely, one of the stable stocks. They also pay good dividend. And then we've got a couple more here. Uh, Mimecast as an example. You know, even though, you know, by looking at this uh, one year or 12%, you might feel, hey, you know what, this is not a good play. But Mimecast, as you might, might have seen here, stocks bounces up and down a lot. So if you are a, if you like to trade a lot, you know, this is a good stock. It can really go up and down on a daily, weekly basis. So good trading stock, um, probably not for long-term investment. Then we got a couple more here, uh, Evertech, Proficient, Perficient, Manhattan. You know, Manhattan is also one of my favorite stock. This also gives some opportunity during the quarter and results where it pulls really hard and great buying opportunity. And uh, this has done very nicely, 71% for year, not bad. Then we got Endeavor, it's a Dava symbol. I think this also is a good stock. As you can see, it done nicely for one year, 91%. Um, DXC, I, I would not touch this right now because uh, this company has done really badly for the last uh, couple of years. I would uh, avoid it for now. And then we got steady ID companies like Verisign and EPAM. I love these two stocks. They have done uh, very nicely. EPAM has done very nicely as you can see here. 103% um, you know, for one year. Verisign looks like you know, they have not done nicely, but overall it's a good company. Probably, you know, it's... Uh, this year is it's not done well. Um, and then we got Calix. Calix is a great story here. Uh, it's done very nicely, 245%, and it also has got a good uh, sales growth. 
Now, I love uh, IBM also. You know, IBM is the new leader. I think it uh, seems to be getting its groove back. So I would, uh, you know, buy this also a little bit in a good dividend play. And also it's a good stock. I think they're also, you know, restructuring their company a little better. This could be a good one as you go forward. And we got Akamai here. Akamai is one of my favorite. I love this stock. This is also a very widely trading stock. It goes up and down a lot. So you could you should catch it on a down day and uh, ride, it, ride it very well. So as you can see here, it, it has not done good for one year, 9%, but this bounces a lot. You know, I, I'm, I've seen this bouncing from anywhere between $99 to $125. It's a nice stock to, you know, um, take advantage of up and downs. Then we've got a couple more here, uh, Broad Financial. You know, it's a great financial stock here. They've done okay for one year. And Norton LifeLock is a small company. I think they're, they're doing pretty well. Uh, they have not done great for one year, but this bounces a lot. Um, then we got VMware here. VMware is a great company. I think now they are separating from Dell. I think that could be a good chance for this company to you know, shine again. This used to be one of those famous companies. It had done very nicely. And they have very nice uh, products and it competes effectively with other companies. And then we've got uh, Excel services here. Um, I think this also has done uh, 58%. It's got positive uh, quarter over quarter growth here. So with that, I would uh, you know look at some of these companies uh, which are highlighted here, which have got positive sales growth um, and uh, you know buy some of them on the pullback and hold it for a long time. Next, we'll look at the losers. You know, I also love many of these losers. Typically, you know, these software stocks, you have to catch it, you know, when they're down. So with that, the way this, um, you know, table is organized, I got one month performance here. And stock at the top, green box, has, uh, you know, fallen a lot for one year, 53%. And from there onwards, it's, uh, you know, less and less and less, as you can see here. And few companies I highlighted, which are, uh, you know, good from a sales acceleration perspective. Um, I also love green box. I love to catch green box when it's down, like like right now, and hold it for a while. This always, you know, gives a good opportunity. As you can see here, for one year, they've done tremendously well, 1,364%. And they also have a little bit, uh, I mean, I would not say too high, a little bit higher you know, short float or a short interest. Um, not a big concern at this point. Um, I also love Rector, Right Blockchain. Both have got uh, positive quarter over quarter sales growth and Right Blockchain has got uh, you know, good sales growth in one year also. And both are going off a lower uh, sales number here. That's why some of these percentages look very high. And they got you know, good one year performance, which is, which is very, res very respectable. Um, I love Bit Digital also. It's a very low dollar stock at this point. Um, and, uh, you know, it's good to catch this company also when it's down. It has done very nicely for one year, 582%. Very nice. Then you've got Bco, Brightco. I think it's done nicely and positive sales growth, as you can see here. APN is one of my favorite stock. It's fallen a lot, as you can see here. But, um, you know, they've done... Uh, 79% um, for one year and they got huge short ratio as you can see here. I have seen this company explode you know b because of the short squeeze. I think at this point you know, it's a high short ratio. I could see this company stock going up on, a, on any good news and you know basically squeeze the short sell sellers out. Then you got uh, Rimini and uh, Fastly. You know, Fastly is one of my favorites here. They have fallen down dramatically in the last couple of days uh, because of their soft guidance. Um, I would buy this stock. I think they are bouncing back now on a one-day basis, as you can see here, even though they're down for one week and two weeks. They've done nicely for one year, 33%, um, uh, not too bad. Uh, then we've got very low dollar stock here, um, Sauce. Um, as you can see, a $3 stock, positive sales growth in one year, very nice performance. Uh, I think it's a good one to you know buy on a you know low day like right, right now. I also love you know stocks like Agora and uh, Materialize. 
materialize is also a good one. Right now, there is no positive sales growth. Agora, I don't think they've got uh, too much history. There is no sales growth to show here. But um, as you can see, our materialize has done 24% uh, for one year. And Agora has not done too well. So probably, you know, you could, should wait a little more on Agora. If you want to buy a little bit um, because it's down, it's okay. But don't spend uh, too much. Um, one of my absolute favorites is uh, Apps Digital Turbine. $62 stock, nice sales acceleration, and uh, I love their, uh, you know, one year they've done very nicely, 1,049%, great. And they also got good uh, gross margin, as you can see here. Um, and, you know, I also love a couple more here, like JFrog is one of my favorites, helps the developers. Um, Rackspace, it's, uh, I, I'm not too sure about this one. I mean, they are into this whole, uh, hosting space, you know, they became public a while ago, a long time ago. They got bankrupt, came back again. So we got to wait and see about the rack, sp rack space. But it may be okay to buy on this huge uh, downturn that we had in one day today. It's 20% down. I'm sure there'll be some bounce. Um, and uh, it's really, you know, trading stock. I would not invest for a long time. Then we got a couple more here. Trade Desk, uh, Clean Spark and Veritone. Trade Desk has done very nicely last year. Now it's struggling a bit. It's down uh, even in one day. Um, I think one day it went up, but down 22% for one week. So this may be okay to buy on this uh, downturn and hold it for a long time. Um, Clean Spark is a good one and even very toned. They've done very nicely for last year. Low, low stock price. Both of these are low stock price, nice sales acceleration, and they've done very nicely for one year. I think it's good to buy this on a downturn and hold it for a long time. Uh, I love Tuya also, Tuya. Tuya is a low dollar stock. There is nothing to show from a sales acceleration perspective. And so far, they've not done well. Uh, if you want, you could wait a little longer on this one. There is no hurry. Let them show some results. And then we got 8x8. It's one of those famous uh, contact center play, uh, working from home type play. I think all these working from home contact center stocks have gone down. And with that, even 8x8 has gone down dramatically. They've done okay from a one-year basis. Um, and, you know, Encino is one of, one of my favorite stocks that to FinTech. Right now, stock is uh, low, $54. And they're down... Um, 47% from 52 week high. It's one of my favorites. I would buy this on a weekday um, and hold it for a long time. Uh, last but not least, I pay, very, I pay very close attention to most active stocks all the time. If a stock is most active, right now these stocks are most active on a three month average volume basis. Um, and as you can see here, I highlighted some of these stocks here like SAS, Microsoft, right, Blockchain, IDEX. You know, these have done nicely. Uh, as you can see, a very good, uh, you know, one-year um, one year performance. And they've done very nicely from a sales acceleration perspective. Uh, I've got a couple more here. Um, Coinbase is a little bit early to say. I think they just became IPO. And stock has done nicely for one day. Uh, I think it's good to wait a little bit on Coinbase. Let's see how their quarter pans out. If you want to buy a little bit, it's okay, but I would not buy a lot. Um, Oracle is a you know steady eddy type stock, does always well, 47% uh, for one year. I think it's a good stock. Larry Ellison is doing a great job uh, trying to become relevant. And we got Square here. It's a good company, Jack Dorsey's company. They've done tremendously well. I would buy this company on any down day. And then we got Infosys, Indian software company. Steady AD type stock had done nicely for one year. I would buy this also on a down day. I think they had a very bad quarter um, or, you know, at least the stock was perceived badly after the quarterly result. That's why it came down a little bit. Uh, then we got uh, um, Nuance, which is acquired by Microsoft. Um, Dropbox, CRM, uh, Fastly is one of my favorite here. Um, Norton Lifewalk is also good. And Cloudflare is one of my favorites. You know, I would uh, buy this on any down day. I think right now they're down 11% for the week. Uh, they've done nicely for one year. I would buy this stock. It's a great stock. 
Um, and also, I did not uh, talk about uh, CRM. CRM is also one of my favorite stocks. Mark Benioff's company, uh, he is doing a great job. I think company just acquired uh, um, Slack. I think they will do well. Um, and, you know, your PaySafe, it's also a fintech play here. Um, I think it's done, um, you know, it's a good gross margin. It's not done nicely so far. I think it's a good company. I think they will do well. Um, and last but not least, we got a IPO company, UiPath. It's a software company. And, uh, you know, they have done okay for one day. You know, today they bounced off 14%. I think this one is a good one to, you know, invest, invest and hold it for a long time. So with that, uh, that's the wrap. Thank you very much. Happy investing and trading.